With the offseason heavily upon us, there's some questions. Obviously, there's some questions facing every NFL team. We're actually coming out with uh, the latest headlines and questions facing every NFL team before heading into training camp, so make sure you guys keep your eyes out. We've already done a couple. I think, what is it, the Ravens and the the Cardinals? I think, yeah, but make sure you guys are keeping your eye out for that. But anyway, uh, so lately we've been talking about, you know, uh, the Las Vegas Raiders a lot, you know, because, you know, I, I feel like this team – just from top to bottom, and we talk about all the different things that they can bring to a, uh, a to uh, the viewer, and plus just what I think they're going to bring to the NFL this season. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I don't, and we're going to make a video about this, I don't think the NFL is ready for the Derek Carr and Devontae Adam tandem. I, I don't, because we saw what they did in college. And I, I know that college and NFL are different. Enter in all the cliche sayings here. Yes, I get it. But at the end of the day, it means something completely different uh, when you talk about what it means to have a relationship in the college to get you to that point, to the NFL, and then now coming back and being a part of it. These guys are grown men, uh, and I fully expect them to be uh, to have a special uh, a season moving forward. Now, I'm really excited. I think they're going to be uh, very, uh, very explosive. Uh, but the question with that is, you know, you talk about getting Devontae Adams. You talk about De uh, Derek Carr in Las Vegas. You also ha talk about having a guy like Josh Jacobs, Hunter Renfro, Darren Waller enter in all the, the weapons that the Raiders have right now. How good can the Las Vegas Raiders offense be? How good can it be? Well, I, I like I said, I, I'm I'm so excited because when you talk about the, all these different things that you're looking at in terms of this offense, uh, you know, I just really feel like now I, I don't know the question, by the way, is a little bit of a side note is who's going to be a wide receiver. Number three um, could be Demarcus Jackson, could be Keelan Cole, Mac Collins, Tyrone Johnson, uh, you know, Justin Hall, I think could also surprise a lot. Jordan VZ as well. Um, there's a lot of guys that I, I think could really surprise for wide receiver three. That's a, obviously a big question, but as far as how good it could be, just I, I there's no reason there's no reason in my mind that the Las Vegas Raiders offense uh, cannot be top five easily. And that's, I think that's kind of honestly a floor expectation when we talk about how good this offense could be. I think it can put up points. I think Derek Carr is going to silence a lot of people this season. The biggest question to me really is the offensive line. Colton Miller, uh, I'm, I'm, I, he just continues to be a rock. Uh, you talk about a couple years ago, what do you allow, like 16 sacks, like first in the NFL? P according to PFF or something like that, and now he's one of the best left tackles in the game. People are sleeping on Denzel Good. I don't get it. Uh, you know, I've had a lot of people bring him into my attention, done a little bit of film study and uh, a little bit of my homework on this man. I think he, if he uh, recovers from that ACL, he's going to be yeah, he's going to be a big part of this offensive line. I always have Dylan Parham starting in here because I'm I, I, I'll, I'll 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 just bring it here real quick. I am I'm a Vikings fan as well uh, as a Raiders fan, so I just I've dealt with the Vikings just not playing rookies at offensive line spots that clearly they should have been playing. So I just and I'm doing it with the Vikings depth charts from now on as well. I'm just putting it on the table that these players, these rookies, deserve a shot. They need they deserve a look to be actual starters in the NFL. So we'll bring it back here. That's my explanation for always putting Dylan Parham as the team starting center over Andre James, who actually played I think according to PFF from Week Seven on, like played like one of the best centers in the entire NFL. But after that, you know, uh, I, I think between James and Parham, you got to find a way to get Parham on the field. If that means starting James, fine. Put Parham at right guard or, uh, you know, or, or put him at left and then put Denzel at right. Doesn't matter. The point is, the biggest question is offensive line. What are you going to get out of Alex Leatherwood? Um, you know, and I got to be honest, I have been uh, kind of a harsh critic of a guy like Alex Leatherwood, but I realized that that's really not the way we need to go about this because at the end of the day, these guys are people. Yes, do they get paid millions of dollars? Yes, I understand that. But at the end of the day, they are still like you and me. They put on a jersey. Uh, the only difference is, is you know, they get paid millions and you know they get to have uh, have the dream job. That's what it is. And you know, it, there's a lot of guys and there's a lot of players that don't pan out, and they still deserve the respect that I would give any of you on the street corner. So you know, I feel like this is a team that it, it can be special. Uh, yes, the offensive line has its question marks, but. I actually think that to a degree, I think some of those will get solved pretty quickly uh, under uh, Josh McDaniel, Z Dave Ziegler, and company. So uh, I'm really excited. Uh, you know, when you also talk about the running back room. Uh, you know, Josh Jacobs is at least going to be around for another year. I believe this might be his last year with the Raiders. But after that, Zamir White, Brandon Bolden, all those guys, uh, I think are going to be pretty special as well. So, you know, just top to bottom, this offense, the, the potential that it has is insane. Like this has... 
the ability, this offense, this Las Vegas Raiders offense has the ability to shock the NFL. It really does. I, I think it can put up 30 points a game. I think that there should not be a game in which it scores below 21. I mean, that should be like a bad day, uh, you know, obviously. So uh, the potential is there. The question is, will they cash in on it? And obviously that's going to be the biggest question moving forward for the Las Vegas Raiders and the offense. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome. We love every single one of you. Down in the description below, we, uh, we've got all our social media platforms. Give us a like and a follow there. Also remember to give us a listen and sub on iTunes. And finally, if you have anything else you'd like us to cover, send us an email at the sportsbp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below and we would love to cover it. But let us know what you guys think about how good the Las Vegas Raiders offense can be.